Hey, this is Dave from the Kodo with another quick tutorial for you. Uh, today we're dealing with the Soul Shards Bond and it's version 1.0.36. Now, um, in the past Soul Shards, you, you used a diamond inside of a Soul Forge, you created the, the Soul Shard, and then you just killed with Soul Stealer. Uh, it's a little bit different now to make your Soul Shard, and as you can see, the items that I have right here, I'm going to show you how to do that. So basically, this is meant to be a little bit more end game. You can find end stone, obviously glowstone and netherrack are in the same place, and diamonds are in the overworld. But end stone normally only find in the end. Uh, you can uh, get it inside of Mistcraft World if you have that mod installed. But this is how uh, this is the general layout of how it's going to be. I'm gonna switch over to creative mode real quick. You're gonna make. You don't need to dig this down into the ground. I'm just doing it for purely um, fill that in. That's not part of it, but I just it's bugging me. Uh, so what you're going to do is the first two slots are going to be air. You're going to make you make this right on the ground. First two spots are, spots are going to be air in the middle, end zone, and then air, air, and then the next level you're going to go like this with another rack in the middle. Final, the middle layer is going to look like this with glowstone in the middle and then we'll complete the pattern like this so this is going to be the pattern you make on the ground uh, you use a diamond and you're going to click on the glowstone and as you can see I now have a soul shard now the soul shard is how you capture souls uh, using the soul stealer on a uh, on a sword it'll help you get a little bit more there but it has to be on your hot bar while you're killing it same as it was before the tiers have changed a little bit uh, before if you made a tier one it was a tier one no matter what it was and it worked uh, now it, the tier one requires 64 kills like normal mob spawn at two a time and 20 seconds apart uh, as you go up in tier you get a little bit more abilities the Second tier is just basically a faster version of tier 1. Tier 3 is when it adds the ability to mob spawn whether the player is near or not. Uh, this is... There is a bug where it's currently broken at large distances, but this is uh, the first tier at which you can turn on a spawn or walk away and it'll continue to spawn. Uh, so if you, if you want to set up auto farming XP farms, that's what you need to do. You need to have level 3, which is 256 kills on the Soul Shard. Tier 4 uh, gives you the ability to spawn uh, mobs that were not normally in the world. So blazes in the overworld, or enderman spawners, or creeper spawners. Anything that's not in the normal world or isn't um, a normal spawner, like the creeper spawner. Uh, you have to have level 4 before you can make those, those spawners, which is 512 ki kills. Uh, level 5, tier 5, is where you can actually turn it on and off of the redstone for the first time. Uh, also ignores the light level and spawns whether you're there or not. Uh, so those are kind of some of the basic things you just want to keep in mind when you are playing with the Soul Shards mod. Just want to get this quick video out on uh, just to show you how to get this set up. Like I said, this is the symbol you need right here, the little shape. Right click on that with the diamond and you get yourself a Soul Shard. So hopefully this video was helpful. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment if you want to know anything else about the Soul Shards mod. I'll make more mods on request. Uh, but uh, like always, I am Dave from the Kodo. Good luck and have fun.